Now, for those of you that have 5 8 uh, was it 5 8 18 that, uh, with hole and tap in there, it's called a 5 8 18. It's a bigger hole with an 18 thread per inch on there. So what you want to do with that, you would use this little helicoil so that instead of having me to, to bring you a different design, you'd use this helicoil, but you'd have to have this helicoil tool. If you have that many tables that you want to do that, that's fine. You can do that. Go out. But you would simply just put that on the end. Put, put this up. Excuse me. Unscrew it. It's easy to do. You put the helicoil, you drop it up inside there and screw it down in there. Now, it'll push through and thread it and spread that spring on the other side as you see how it spreads it and it'll leave it in the hole. Now since I've already got one in the hole here, I'm just going to show you. You would take that and just put it in the hole and simply screw it down. It would go directly in the hole and you'd, you'd stop where you wanted really at the top. You can see it's got a stop right here that I set. Right here at the top is a stop that I've already set where I want it to stop at. And then you just unscrew it. And now you have a quarter 20 hole in there. So we went from a 5 8 18 hole by using a helicoil to a quarter 20 hole. And now we could use the quarter 20 without having a whole new design of table jack being designed. And you would screw the screw down in there. There you go. Now, to let you know, table jacks is uh, getting where well, I could put a bushing of myself up, up, that we could put in there, and you don't have to have this tool to use it. Fortunately, to do that, you'd have to have the tool. But for those of y'all out there that have a bunch of these bases that are 5 8 it's a simple fix. This tool runs about $40, and then the helicoils are just really cheap. So for $50, you can fix all your tables with the table jacks and with having this tool. Unfortunately, it's their cost, not mine.